Hey, are you looking to build your business credit like a boss? Well, you're in luck. I've created this awesome ebook where you can learn how to build business credit and get over $500,000 in business funding. It's on sale right now, $40 on sale. Original price is $125. I am giving you guys this at a highly discounted price, but only 100 copies will be sold at this price. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comments. You are already a boss, but why not get that business credit like a boss? Hi everyone, it's your girl designer Soapbox and I am back with another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to remove you from the check system so that you can get approved for a bank account. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So what is a check system? Most really don't know about the check system unless you are denied a bank account or suspected for fraud. And then you'll likely know about the check system because usually you'll get a denial letter or a reason why you were denied a bank account and they'll tell you to request a copy of a check system report. So Basically, a check system tracks your checking and savings account activity, and you are entitled to a free copy of your report once every 12 months or if you've been rejected by a bank in the past 60 days. So common activities that can lead you into the check system. So this is good to know so that you can avoid any of these activities because in today's age, you will need a big account, especially if you're a subscriber on my channel, you will need to be able to get a bank account so that you can try these nice tips and hacks. Okay, so involuntary account closure is a common activity that can lead you into the check system. Bounce checks in or over drafts. So if you have been doing any type of suspicious activities in terms of depositing bounce checks this can potentially lead you into check systems okay unpaid negative balance savings accounts debit cards or atm abuse so this is usually for outstanding overdrafts and non-sufficient funds so if it's a constant thing it will alert the bank and the bank will report this to the check system Okay, outstanding checks in the scan database of return checks and instances of fraud. So please make sure you're not out there giving out fake checks, uh, bounce checks, or checks that just won't basically check out at the bank. Suspected fraud or identity theft. And this is really a common and big thing. I know in 2021, a lot of us are a victim of identity theft. So you want to make sure you're not in the check system. Okay. Lost checks in debit cards. Okay. So make sure that if you lose a debit card that you call your bank and report it stolen. If you lose your checkbook that you call your bank and report it stolen because someone may be out there fraudulently using your checks and debit cards will and can lead you up in the check system if you don't take care of it right away. And also check ordering history from the past three years. Also make sure that you're writing checks for the right reasons, okay? Number of accounts applied in the past 90 days. So if you're applying for multiple bank accounts at multiple banks, this could potentially lead you into a check system. So please take your time, choose maybe two to three banks if you're starting out in building your credit or your savings and checkings account to take your time if you apply for a lot of banks this will cause a red flag because most banks use the check system to basically check for who you are social security number driver's license validation and or verification okay so you want to make sure you have the right social security number the right driver's license in our verification when you're applying for a checking account and it's not anybody else's because if you do not those common activities will lead you into the check system and it will flag your account and ultimately get you a denial so how to request your check system report i recommend for anybody to do this if they've been denied a bank account, but also even if you have not been denied a bank account, it's good to know if they have any information on you. You never know. And it's good to check every year as well 
upkeep with your reports. So you can check online by completing an online request form, and I'll leave that link down below, but it's consumer debit dot com and call by phone if you want to do so and you can request a report and you can do that by 800-428-9623 you can also do it by fax and what you'll do is you'll print and complete an order form from online and then you'll fax it to 602-659-2197 then you can also Print and complete an order form and send it by mail with an enclosed check or money order for $10.50 made payable to Check Systems Inc. Okay, you can also get your Check System score by mail. So you can only get your Check System score by mail if you call or request the online request form or do by fax. You can only get your Check System report, but they can mail you your Check System score by mail. So that's if you want to know your check system score. Also, in the next slide, I'm going to show you what letter you can use once you get your check system report to report inaccurate information and get those negative items deleted from your report. So you can also use this QR code down below on the right side of your screen to use with your phone. All you have to do is open your camera app and scan the QR code and it will take you directly to this letter, okay, for free. And you can download it, PDF or Microsoft Word as a Word doc and fill in the blanks. So this is a sample checks letter that you can use to basically send to check systems once you get your check system report and you know the information that is reporting on your check system report and if you want to basically dispute this information and tell them to remove it you use this check system letter so this letter will be from you and you'll be sending this to check system customer relations okay uh, only put your last four digits of social security number for security reasons in the date. And so it says to, to whom it may concern, my bank has informed me that there is negative information reported by, and then you insert your bank, the bank that you were trying to get an account with and you got denied. And you, for example, Bank of America included in the file check system maintains under my social security number. Upon ordering a copy of the report, I see an entry from this bank listing, then you'll basically share the reason for your denial and then the denial date. Please validate this information with, for example, Bank of America and provide me with copies of any documentation associated with the reason that you've been denied in the absence of any such documentation bearing my signature. I ask that this information be immediately deleted from the file you maintain under my social security name. Sincerely, your name. So this is the sample check system letter that you can use if you have been denied a bank account and you have negative information reporting to the check system. Okay, so how to remove check system. Again, you can dispute inaccurate information just like you would do with the credit bureaus. And I showed you guys the, the sample letter that you can use to the check system. And then you wanna alter the letter to your liking based on your situation. Make sure you always keep a copy for yourself for your record, just in case they did not get the check system letter. Maybe something got lost in the mail because then you can do a follow-up and basically tell them, hey, I reached out to you, uh, you know, 30 days or 45 days prior, and I haven't had any response, please delete the negative information. Okay, so you can also dispute just like you would do the credit bureau. Hey, have you heard about the charge off and collection express removal guide that I have available? A step-by-step -step guide to remove negative charge offs and collections from your credit report rapidly. These steps are easy and you don't need a credit repair company to do this. It's all step-by-step -step that you can do on your own. Check it out. It's 50% off right now. You don't want to miss out at designersobots.com or you can check the pinned comments or link in the description below to find that link. Make sure you check it out. It's 50% off right now, guys. Don't miss out. Hurry, hurry. Hi, everyone. This is Designer Soapbox. 
I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express ink removal guide and also the late payment removal guide. So just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link and get your 50% off. Remember, this inquiry removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours. And then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast, super fast actually. Um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days, this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed. So if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content, I talk about this in my videos. However, I have this in an ebook. I'm doing 50% off for you guys. If you missed a 60% off sale, I'm doing one for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye. One for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget to add me on Instagram at Designer Soapbox. And don't forget to check out those ebooks that we got on sale, honey, at DesignerSoapbox.com, where you remove your hard inquiries, late payments, collections, and more. So make sure you check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, guys, I love you all. Bye.